go and Buemo on the overlap. He is in loads of space. Puts the game to bed. My boy, the French sensation taking over the championship. That is a big win as well. Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to a brand new episode of my Brentford FIFA 21 career mode series. I think this is episode 6. We're making progress, we are smashing out the episodes. I'm on the grind, okay? I'm determined, I wanna get as much content daily to you guys as possible. Just to say a massive thank you, we hit 190 subscribers, 10 away from our goal. So if you are new and you like my content, please do consider subscribing, it'll mean a lot to me. So we finished off last episode, top of the league, absolutely smashing it right now. The aim again of this episode is to get through as many games as possible, try and progress closer and closer and closer towards the Premier League, that is our goal. We're going to get there, I hope, unless something drastically wrong happens. But, I mean, look how tight it is at the top there. We've got 41 points, and there's the likes of Bournemouth, Stoke, Watford, Forest, all in contention. Only six points off of us, Forest. We do have a game in hand on Bournemouth. So, fingers crossed we can take that. We've actually got Forest coming up next. So, no active sim in this one. We're going to be playing. Make sure we've got our strongest team going. And let's see. First game on. Let's see if I can hang with the boys in Nogan Forest. Let's see if we can get another win. And this time at Forest. We need the points. I want to get to the Premier League. And we've got the best home record in the Premier League. We're the best in the fucking league. I know it, you know it, they know it. Mate. Mate. Forest are looking lively. It's just popped up that Forest are actually unbeaten away from home. So, we like breaking rules. Oh, hold up. Got a bit lucky. Got a bit lucky. Keep the ball. Little one with Tony. Getting Buemo involved. Ah, close. Oh, Joe Lolly's done me there. Big tackle again. Pinnock is an absolute tank, guys, honestly. And Tony. Ivan. No! Yes. Thank Lord. We got lucky. When we take the luck, when we can, guys, honestly. Quick reactions to Silas. Gets the goal. Ivan Tony probably should have scored the first attempt, as you can see. Super easy, I just waited too long to shoot. <laughs> that is jam on toast, but we take those. Let's go. Mate, Forest have started strong. They get a bit lucky. Once again, Pinnock. The man of the match performance so far. Carrying that back line. Beautifully done. Silas in the middle. <sighs> Beautiful effort. Ebuebo. Should have scored. Mate, this attempt for Silas was mad. Didn't show up the replay. Polly should have bagged it though. Still 1-0. Oh, he's done, mate. This Taylor is doing bits, you know. For a second, I thought that was in. <sighs> Henry's on the overlap. Henry has unreal pace. Silas in a bit of space. This could be it. One over. Ivan. Ivan, finally we get our second. It was a long time coming, we were creating chances and the man's finished. I was going to say never in doubt, but he missed the sitter in the first half, but <laughs> never in doubt. Oh no. Offside, thank fuck. I thought they got lucky with a little deflection, but... The offside's in our favour, so we'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Koulibaly's in a world of space. This has to be free. It has to be free, and it is. The young Frenchman. Decent finish, to be fair, on his right foot. It's another goal for Tango Koulibaly. He scores when I give him the chances. He's proven to be a pretty damn good signer. Brilliant shit. Let's go then, guys. Huge first game. 3 no win at home to Forest. Awesome team performance, really good defending. We took our chances when we had them. I honestly can't complain. As you can see, Forest had more possession, but they had a one shot. Dominant, dominant play. So up next, we have our second game of the episode. We are at home to Preston. I'm gonna play this. I think I'm gonna play three or four games in this episode. No Sims, try and get some juicy gameplay content. Same team as last time, apart from Koulibaly is dropped to the bench for Godos. He's got full fitness. The big boys are fully fit. And let's see if we can capitalise on a Preston team that are struggling this season. 
Three more points in the bag would be beautiful after a big 3-0 win out last time. Come on then, boys. Big turnout here. Preston at home again. Another home fixture. We cannot stop winning at the moment. I'm loving this. Ultimate team. Difficult. Or Ultimate team. Fuck me. Ultimate difficulty is beautiful. Oh, long through ball. Silas has the pace. He's onside. I'm looking at Godus in the middle. Beautiful. That is what we like to see. We want goals, goals, goals in this game. Oh. Stay strong here, boys. Preston. Up. Are we playing against KDB? What was that ball? Mate. I couldn't tackle them. They're all over the place. But this ping is ridiculous. They're 17th in the table and they're playing like that. It's questionable. <laughs> Lamptey has ran from right back all the way up here. Godus in loads of space. Get out your feet. Beautiful. There we go. The man, the myth, gets his goal. That's goal number two for our left mid in this game. Lamptey. Had an absolute field day. He went on a venture for right back. Gets himself an assist. Not a brilliant touch, but that is a finish. Oh, unlucky. Get there. Nice. Nice. Tony might be in here. That first touch is beautiful. Get away from the man. Drill it. Never in doubt. Ivan Tony with his left foot. I'm not sure what foot he is, to be fair. Because he seems to score more with his left than he does from his right. He's been in the gym, getting the one-up push-ups in. That is 3-1. Goals are here. We can get goals against these boys easily. Our strikers are just ridiculous. Oh, mate. Preston. Here we go, then. Here we go. Counter-attack. Counter-attack. There is so much space here. So much space. Silas just ran through him. He just ran through him. This is all the difficulty, guys. The man's too good. We're ready for the Premier League. Just bring it on. Promote us now. Go on. Mate, this centre-back they've got, number 14, is the slowest. What's that? Silas. Oh. Oh, mate. The silver. Silas on the overlap. What? <laughs> what is going on, mate? These guys don't know how to defend. One minute they're insane, the next minute they're shocking. And Ivan Tony's capitalised. Plymouth have been annihilated. 5 1 win. Home again. Eight goals in two games. Bish, bash, bosh. I take it. All over. Neville possession. Two shots on target. They scored a really nice goal, actually, but they still couldn't hang. All right, so we've got our youth squad monthly report. And this is exciting because there's a few people on here that I'm keeping an eye on. For example, Owen Clifford is looking like he's going to be an absolute beast in the future. And Jamie Allen's actually ready to promote to the first team now. Should we do it? First player from the youth academy to be promoted to the first team. Four star, four star as well. Left back, right back. Welcome. Mr. Allen, get in here. It's an honour to have you on board at Brentford and hopefully you can get some, get a little run out. A little run out this season, get him boosted up in stats and ready for the Premier League journey that we've got next season. So up next we have Bristol City at home. They're currently 19th, so I'm expecting a bit of a whitewash. What I'm going to do is I might end up regretting this. I definitely will end up regretting this, but we're going to active sim it. I feel like Bristol City at home... Out of all the teams we could stand a chance of beating via active sim, this is hopefully one of them. So, fingers crossed the boys can start strong and we get a W, guys. I'll keep you updated and I'll tell you how the game panned out. Yes, you guys are seeing this correctly. We managed to win an active sim again. Absolutely no possession, but we come out on top. So, I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to bury that one, take another three points towards the championship title and move on to the next game. Talking about our next game, I think we had two game rest here and my players are absolutely shot. 
So I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna be ballsy. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up, and I'm gonna completely fully rotate this side uh, with the people we got down in the reserves, etc., in the subs bench. And we're gonna give a completely brand new eleven a go. So what I'm gonna do is create a new team sheet. Uh, let's create a new team sheet and just do I don't know rest. And I'm gonna throw together this team, and then I'll talk you through it, and then we'll get into the game. But fuck, Middlesbrough are sick for the tables. It's not gonna be easy. So we have fully rotated our first 11, minus the goalkeeper, Raya. Obviously, he's still fit, so he keeps his place just to give us that bit more security at the back. We've got a few big names still in this team. Godos, for example, he scored a lot of goals for us this season. Blessing and Jensen are also very vital parts of the team. Can also is actually sold and will be leaving us in January, so this may be one of his last uh, appearances for us. Also, Lamps hit the back. But fully rotated, we've got a 58 overall at right mid. There's a guy called Morsi on their team as well. I feel like that's a sign that we're gonna get murked here. But let's go, see how we do. Middlesbrough away from home. Let's get into it. Oh no, brilliant pass from Forrest. They're in behind and we're one nil down already. We're one nil down to Middlesbrough guys. Akpom has scored already. I don't know what happened, my defense was caught. Great through ball from Middlesbrough and Tuba. Akpom buries it. We're one nil down over a weakened side guys. This is not looking good. Let's see if we can get at least a bit of a response. I feel like we need to utilise Godos as much as possible. He may be in behind. I need to be good here. A little, a little, little. I didn't know what to say. I kind of lost my train of thought. But we get the goal. Always reliable, this man. I mean, he is on loan here. So we won't have him going into the next season. But what someone did point out to me is that Ben Rama is only on loan at West Ham. So in January, I think I'll be recalling him from that loan, taking the fee. If there is a fee, I don't know how that works. Bringing it back to us just for that bit of extra something, something going forward. A little bit of squad depth as well. Exciting times at Brentford. Second half is underway. We're keeping things exactly the same. No changes. I want to rest pretty much majority of my first team here. So if I can get through majority of the game with these guys and still get a result, happy days. Hit that. Oh, lamp two. Not bad effort. Bad, just gonna see, like, testing the water a little bit. No, Forest goal. Nah, you're gonna know where we're at, lad. Oh, it's poor again. Well, in though. We're in that battle, give and go. We're gonna play him in behind. Is he gonna make that? Canos in the overlap. Oh boy, Macondes. That's not a bad effort. The young lad. <sighs> that was ambitious. 58 overall is never going to be pinging that top end. See if we create now one more chance. That may be it. Ah, <sighs> oh, so close. Probably could have put more power behind it, but it's a chance created. I'll tell you what, Brooke. Brooke. Unreal save for the keeper. Boys, boys keep going. Middlesbrough looking a bit dangerous, I'm not liking it. That's going to be game, isn't it? Yeah, so one all draw against Middlesbrough. I take it considering the team we were using. Didn't make a single sub throughout. Complete reserve team. It's a point, which is good. It goes a long way. They're sixth in the league, so I'm definitely not to complain. Gudos, Gudos, Godos, whatever you want to call him, with our goal, happy days. All right then guys, that's where I'm going to end this episode. It's been good fun. In the next episode, I'm going to be trying to smash through as many games as possible, utilizing the active sim a little bit more, still playing a few games as well, try and push up to at least 28, 30 games played, get to the January transfer window, see if we can do a bit of business in there. Anyway guys, I've been Morsi. If you are enjoying this series, please consider dropping me a like and leaving me a comment, let me know how you were doing. If you enjoyed your Christmas so far, and I'll catch you very soon for the next episode. Take it easy.